Hey everybody, I'm James Bubba Hudson and uh, I'm originally from Texas and uh, I've been a musician all of my life and uh, uh, I grew up in the East Texas area and I grew up playing in bands and, and being involved in music and uh, I eventually moved to uh, Houston and started playing live with bands and traveling and uh, from there, I did that for years, and then basically I lived on the road for years, and I played with a whole lot of pretty big big name bands, and I had a lot of fun. When you're young, you can do that, <laughs> and uh, travel and live that way, but later on, you kind of get tired of it usually. But anyway, I did that for a long, long time, and then uh, finally I uh, ended up moving to Nashville, Tennessee, and lived there for the last, uh, probably 25 years or so, and got pretty deep into the music business. And uh, um, I went there actually to be an artist, thinking that, uh, you know, I would be an artist at some point, you know, and that was kind of my dream to be that. But I ended up being a producer, a uh, music producer and a writer, and I had a lot of success uh, in production, had a whole lot of sales. That was probably where most of my success came from. but. I've had, you know, a few million in sales as a producer and I uh, uh, was a songwriter there too. And uh, so I've had songs placed in TV and film and, uh, and just, you know, I was in it for such a long time. I did so many things. I worked for Motown for a while. I worked for Star Search as a talent scout. I even got to produce a little piece of music for the first Twilight movie, which was a really cool thing for iTunes. I met Latretha uh, outside of the House of Blues one day, whenever we were just going there and looking around, me and my wife Wanda. And uh, she was singing outside. They were uh, warming up the crowd and getting ready. She was also singing inside the club, uh, doing background vocals, I think, for uh, gospel artists there. And I met her that day, and uh, I don't know, I just knew immediately that, that we were gonna click. and. Uh, that we would probably work together at some point. It was a little while before we actually did, but uh, later on I found out that she was a great writer, drummer, and had all this talent, and, and uh, she played me this song that she wrote, which is uh, Lay It All Down, and uh, I fell in love with it, and I thought, man, that's a song that we need to record. And uh, so she came over to my studio, and we started working on it together, and, uh, and uh, I, I asked her, you know, could I maybe produce that for her? And uh, she was getting ready to go into another studio and, and uh, do a live recording of it. And I said, let me do this for you first. And so she let me do a track of it. So I started putting drums together and uh, I'm just kind of a one man band studio here. So I played all the guitars and bass and keyboards and everything on it. And uh, she really liked it. And so she came in and sang and the rest is history. It turned out great and the video's even better. But what's really special about it is the, the message. It's so profound. Uh, of that, that's what God is to, that you can lay everything down, you know, and, and you know, God's always been such a big part of my life and part of my message. And I knew that there was something really special that was written inside of that song. And so we had so many great motivating factors in creating that song. And, and I know that Latresa did in creating the video, but I don't think I ever realized how powerful that the whole package was together because once you hear audio and video together and you see it, and I first saw the video for the first time and uh, she put it on Facebook and all of my friends that know what I have done for the past few years working in recovery and working with addicts and everything just went, man, that song is so perfect for you. I know that it's near and dear to your heart because it's, it's the same kind of thing that you do. It's about addicts and about them having all the troubles that they go through and, and, and spreading that message that you can just lay it all down.
You know, you lay it all down at the feet of Jesus. And I didn't even realize how powerful that message was until uh, I saw the whole package put together. And I went, you know what? We were meant to work on this together. So I'm, I, I'm so thankful that uh, she brought that project to me and I was able to put my little bit that I put into it. Uh, I think that's the right key.